Hello, everybody. It is your homeboy, Matt KC, and I'm never saying that again. Sir, I'm back. I'm jet lagged. It is 6 a.m. It is negative five degrees outside. But you know what? I'm glad to be back because I spent a lot of time thinking about like where I want to go and, and what I want to do. I know it's a meme now that I keep promising that I'm going to upload weekly and just don't. But not anymore. I'm going to work my butt off to get videos out at least once a week for you guys. What that probably means is you'll get more unscripted videos like the um, viruses, the Windows 98 viruses one, just because they're a lot faster. But what that hopefully means is that'll give me time to make the bigger videos, you know, even bigger and even better. So hopefully everything will just get better and better, which is really exciting. I also want to start live streaming once a week. Um, just to hang out with you guys more. We can play some Jackbox games. You guys can watch me flail around playing anything else. Whatever's most fun, it'll be great. Anyway, so that is the future looking forward. For the rest of this video, this is one of those unscripted videos. I want to talk about VidCon. Now, VidCon was pretty controversial this year. There were all these weird fiascos that happened, starting with the, the Instagram guy who was yelling at security and, you know. You're not Whoa. And then there was Logan Paul just showing up out of nowhere. He was trying to hang out with fans, I guess, or just be a public personality in public. And apparently he, because last year he was a Vine star and this year he's a YouTube star, he didn't realize that he was as recognizable as he is now. But everyone went nuts. I mean, even I saw some of it. I didn't see Logan Paul, but I did see the, the mob of people that collected. Logan, Logan. You can hear people chanting Logan, which is, I mean, scary. So these were the big stories, but I want to talk about like what it's actually like to be at VidCon. So VidCon has a bit of a class system going on. Basically, the more you pay, the more access you have to certain things. At the very low end is the community tier, so that's just like, oh, you get to meet your favorite YouTube celebrity. <laughs> then the creator one is like a step above that, a little bit more expensive. And the idea of the creator badge is that you get to see a bunch of creators talk about how to be a creator. You're supposed to get tips on it's like tips on making your own channel and shit like that. Above that is like the industry badge. I guess you gotta you got be someone who knows someone to get into that one. And then there was another one that, that was all access. I had no fucking clue how that's different from industry. You know, it, it's actually, it's, it becomes like a business convention then. People are just like, well, so we're gonna talk about marketing and branding today. Now we're gonna talk about, um, what live streaming has done for our YouTube channel. So that's what VidCon gives you, uh, with the creator badge. Now I, I, I feel like I have a bit of a beef with that because it's clearly preying on people who want to be successful. If you remember Ty Lopez, the knowledge guy, like they are getting rich off people trying to get rich. It just feels like shady and scummy to me. But if you go to VidCon, you find that a lot of VidCon seems to be doing that. The main expo hall is you know, like a normal convention. It's a lot of booths, but a lot of the time it was, the booth was like, sign up with us to learn how to grow followers on your Twitch account. There was just a, a strong undercurrent of these are people desperately trying to be famous and that's what this convention is for. I thought it might be interesting to to meet more people who have a passion for creating on YouTube, but most of the people didn't really seem to be like that. They seemed to be people looking for a means to an end, which was, you know, fame, popularity, and and or money. It's one thing to like sit down and talk to people and trade business cards, but the amount of people who will walk by and just shove one into your face and say, here you go, subscribe. Now, I'm not saying it's a problem for people to be there networking and, and meeting people. I mean, that's kind of what I was there for. But if you're just gonna sit there and blatantly like advertise shit to me by shoving things in my face, who watches a channel for five years and then it's like, I've loved your YouTube channel ever since you shoved a business card in my fucking face while I was walking down the street. Like, just leave me alone. Or at least if you if you really want, if you really want me to check out your stuff, at least have the courtesy to, to see what I'm doing as well. And at one point, I was just sitting at a table by myself, minding my own business, just sitting there. Some woman comes up, doesn't even look at me, walks up to the table, throws these, they are Snapchats, they're just Snapchat usernames, don't go to them, just came up to me, threw them on the table like this, like no joke, like where'd that fucking third one go, <laughs> shit, and then walked away. like. Didn't even say hello. Didn't even try to have a conversation, even make it like mutually beneficial in any way. Just walked up, fucking threw them at me 
and then left. And it, really, that feels like that sums up the experience of going to VidCon. A bunch of enterprising assholes throwing their brand in your face, you know, not even pretending that they give a shit about you. Now, don't get me wrong, VidCon wasn't all bad. I didn't despise it. I did meet some cool people, and a lot of the panels, particularly in the filthy, dirty community level, were actually a lot of fun. And, and honestly, I actually don't think you miss out on much with the community badge. So I don't have a problem with VidCon, I don't have a problem with Hank Green or, or anyone that was involved in that, but I found that the reality is you are going to a YouTuber convention, and sometimes YouTubers are just the worst. But really, I can sum it up with one Markiplier tweet from two years ago. The only downside to VidCon is the excessive amount of pretentious, egotistical fuckery. So anyway, this was just a little VidCon rant. Like I said, no hate towards VidCon, and I'm actually slightly interested in going to VidCon Australia down in Melbourne uh, in September. So if you want to see video coverage of that, let me know. Otherwise, I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to talk about that. And I don't regret going. VidCon's gotten a lot of hate. I, I don't really want to fuel the fire for that. I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to talk about. But let me know what you think. Give me your input. So with that said, my name is Matt. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in a week's time. Thanks, guys.